deceptive games. That's not the but it's a slightly worrying, it's a slightly worrying thing to call your company. Uh, hey guys, it's time for the Initiate Two, the first interviews, which I guess would have to make it a, a prequel, right, or something like that. So for those that weren't here the first time around, although you can check out link in the description probably, because I'll probably put this in the same this game in the same playlist. Uh, the Initiate was a strange, almost like Fight Club ish game in that there's some organization of radical lunatic people that are trying to indoctrinate people but in this case via a weird puzzle escape room house that they blow up if you fail to do the right choices or whatever along the way or something like that it was a uh, it was odd uh, the story didn't really make much sense, honestly, but hey, the main thing is that you got to go through a series of rooms in a house via escape room mechanics, and that was basically what I wanted, and so, and that's why I'm back. And some of that was good, and some of it was not so good. Mixed bag, uh, really escape room games are a huge mixed bag in general, both in real life and, uh, video games, but it's the really good ones that make you keep going back and all that. Uh, so that... The game wasn't really accessed for a bit, now it's out, and so on, and I'm kind of jonesing for an escape room, because I think the last one I played was the one I played with Bird, kind of as a joke, back in October during the, like the, the Halloween event, which was the one where there was an evil fish man. That was a thing. But yeah, let's, let's grow that massive escape room playlist, which I do have. It's a massive playlist of escape rooms, even with me not including Zero Escape and 999, which I technically could, but I just as a courtesy didn't because they're so long. <laughs> I just included part one and was like, you know, you can follow up, but if you want, they're kind of escape rooms. Samantha Blake, candidate number 821740. Grieving parent from the loss of her daughter. Hello, Sam, and welcome to stage one. Stage one? Wait. What? You've been asleep for quite some time. You've been keeping us all waiting. But I digress. My name is... Well, that's not important right now. What is important, however, is for you to get out of that small room. I shall be in touch shortly. Wait, where am I? Hello? Hello? No? <laughs> I guess more accurately, it's a cross between Fight Club and Saw. Because there's the whole thing where, like, you f you find people and you give them, like... In Saw, in Saw, in Saw the issue is that they were trying to tell, like, a moral story. Like, on some level, that he was, he was an evil villain, so not, nothing he said made actual sense. But he found people that he thought were undeserved, not, like, un they're, like, undeserving of their life or, like in some way weren't showing they appreciated it enough or something. Saw is a stupid series, uh, and it would give them, like, ironic tortures as a, as a result. The traps and contrivances and tech and, and kidnapping element all fits with Saw better in this game. But the reason, which is to recruit people into some sort of extremist group, is from... Oh, my mouse isn't mo moving. There we go, I had to click in the window. Uh, my shoes? Great. Hope there's nothing sharp laying around. Oh no, my feet. Oh no, they showed my feet. <laughs> Which worked for a second there until that happened. Uh, that looks weird for some reason. Probably because it looks like I'm leaning forward like crazy. I don't know. But yeah, the part of trying to recruit people into a... Into like a political... Almost terrorist organization and so on is all Fight Clubby. Hey there. You can see into a room. It says face upwards. Huh. Not sure if there's anything in there is supposed to be a clue for here necessarily, but seeing into there might be a clue. By the way, how weird is it that there's a decent number of people that look that watch Fight Club and don't seem to realize that the organization and Tyler Durden are, you know, the villains and not to be aspired to. Strange metal. Let's look at that. Oh, it's just right in my inventory. All right. Let's just poke around for a bit. A rotate object. 
that what whoa whoa my did my i think my look sensitivity just changed on the fly for some reason could be imagining that but it was a thing whoa sure Uh, oh god, it happens whenever you pick up an item. So if I click out and back in, does it- Ah! Oh god. Alright, well that's not good. <laughs> that's unfortunate that that's what's gonna happen in this game. It says right click. But it actually just means rotate the mouse to look around. There's no right clicking involved. I guess it's except to leave looking at it? Is that- Oh no, I hit load game. <laughs> We're off to a smooth start. I'm nailing it. My mouse keeps getting uncoupled from the game itself. This left early access? That's not encouraging. All right. Every time you do a menu or anything like that, you then your mouse then decouples from the game. Oh boy, okay. The painting rotates. That might be important. My shoes. Great. Hope there's nothing sharp laying around. Uh so like the white ish stuff is on the bottom of the painting. We might need the paintings to match. Yeah, it's the sky. Ta-da! I did it. Alright. My time is the truth. Okay. So 640. Not working. Explains why it's cold in here. Hmm. Out there, it says it's almost 4.15. But this one says the time is the truth. Is this one actually on, though? Old activities are monitored by video camera. It's nice of them to point it out for me. Oh. Can't look at that. Alright, so if I have a number, I can dial it. I don't have a number. Small wooden box. Does it not open? Maybe it'll open when I do something elsewhere in the room, since I can't seem to interact with it directly. Save game. Okay. So manual saves. Working mirror. Hey, that's what I look like. Can I jump? Nope. I'm wearing a guitar shirt. My hair's up. My shoes are gone. That wasn't very nice. Kind of mean-spirited, isn't it? William Shakespeare, Macbeth Illustrated. Ah, gah, gah. <laughs> Why is that a problem in this game? Every time you stop looking at a thing, I'm just going to have to deal with having a very high look sensitivity and, and just try very hard not to make you guys <clears throat> seasick the whole time. Because I can't keep resetting it every single time. I'm just going to have to really... Slowly look around. Janko Muzzykent. The epic trilogy about passion and warfare. That's uh, some cable management you got there. We have a symbol over that. It might be indicative of something. Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. The guy that wrote half the Disney uh, movies. He didn't write the movies. I mean, he, he wrote the stories that they keep using. The bulb was missing. Can I take the bulb out? No. Calendar from 1968. A few dates are circled. Ah, January 5th, March 4th, May 1st, 
October 5th. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's write that down. Grab my Sharpie. All right. It might be a phone number, actually. If the digits total out, right? So it's one, five, three, four, five, one, then ten, five. Be one, five, three, four, five, one, ten, five. We get a four digit sequence, a three digit sequence, and a two digit sequence. So no, it's not quite like an area code followed by everything else. I was thinking like maybe it'll be a three digit area code and a uh, seven digit phone number. But no, I could just type them in anyway, just to see what happens. Nope. They cap you out. Hmm. Probably not what that is then. We've got toilet paper. Looks extra padded. But that might be just resolution stuff. No, stop. Crap. There we go. We got three of those. Got Macbeth. Big Shakespeare fan around here, apparently. The toothbrush is a somewhat strange inclusion. Vortex Ultra Color provides the best colors. Top quality. Oh, there's a face. Gold on the right of white. It's a clue for something. Can I look at the top? Nope. It's also not. The inside is just vertical. It's not vase shaped on the inside. Gold on the right of white. What does that mean? Oh. That's probably where the coins go, which I already have. Like, what? I thought I had three coins. Wait, how'd you get back there? Oh, because I loaded on accident, right. Pirate ship with skull and crossbones. Oh, either okay. I what now? Either I got the order right on my first try, or you just had to find them all. In gold we trust. It's a pirate head. Sixteen eighty. Gold rum battle rum. It's hard to read. Greatness awaits. That light might be important. Okay, so now I've got access to this room. Well done, Sam. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Thing is, it's going to get a little trickier from here on. I'm sure you will do fine. Good luck. Candidate, congratulations on getting past the first challenge. All... All be... Oh no. He thinks that albeit is three words and not one word. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Albeit a very simplistic one. From here on out, things will become more challenging. You'll be required to work alongside a number of other candidates to successfully achieve your goal. This will allow you to, to determine whether you are worthy of our gift. Look around the room. For many secrets hide inside. If at any time you are confused or stuck with progress, I suggest reevaluating your surroundings. AR. <clears throat> Better do a good job or we're gonna kill you. It's Map Utah. Is this where I am? Hmm. Or is it part of a solution I'm gonna have to figure out? Huh. This TV seems to work. Where is this place shown? 
Uh, that was the first game. Yeah. And that's the last room of the first game. Yeah, these are all locations from the first game. 4623, I wonder if I'll need that. The secret garden. Nope. I'm checking here and there just because there might be something hidden on the back of these books that are otherwise just repeating. It's a spirit level. Is that what those are called? I don't know, I've only ever called it a level. A spirit level. Ooh. It's special and magical now. Has no power. So something goes in there. There's a socket down here. Another level. These guys do not want things to be crooked. Which is... Funny. Because this place is very disheveled. Another level! Okay, come on, man. Why do you like things being leveled this much? It's getting weird. Now they're both upside down. Uh. Surprise? That's a button? Face upwards. So one of the pictures is missing, and then there must be some way to figure out what direction they should face. My guess would be that they might have, like, black light written on them. There's stuff written on them in black light, like a picture or something, an arrow. And so if, maybe if you turn the lights off... That's not the light. Hmm. The time's actually moving on that. Has this one moved yet? No. Yeah, I don't think this one's the truth. I think you're full of lies. California, Arizona, and Utah. The greatest snow on earth. All right. That, is that a pun from Disneyland? Uh, A16, 5FK. Is there a coordinate system on this? No. No. Did that help me out there? Alright, so maybe that's not what a direct correlation. These are weird. So pressing up and down changes the direction based on which way is up right now, or which way is the forward direction on the vase, which you guys imagine poses a, a problem for my ability to figure out which direction that is because this is the forward direction on the vase? We wait for you. Ooh, control scheme. I do not know what this is. Pressing random stuff might actually kill me. Let's not do that. It probably opens the safe if you're right. More Macbeth. I always get a kick out of repeating- oh, hello. I always get a kick out of, like, repeating books like this just because the premise of the genre is that I should closely interrogate my environment, and so filling it with repeating stuff that looks out of place in an environment is a weird thing. In other games, you can get away with being like, well, you're not supposed to look at the environment that closely, but in this genre, you actually are. So weird repeating assets actually look more out of place than ever before. <clears throat> okay. Um, they're all identical. I believe. Can I click on it? Whoa. Okay. Is it the last one? Nope. Oh, there's a lot of variations. Huh. <clears throat> That goes for a while. That's scary. All right. 
I wonder what puzzle that is. Another plastic container. This one's empty. Was there a not empty one? Oh. More screws. It's full of screws. Another one of these. I'm apparently just defaulting to the idea of turning them all upside down. <laughs> Ta-da! I did it. Boom. Oh, you are in Oh, he's interested in me. Yeah, he is. Alright. Hey. So many save locations. Am I about to be murdered? I just tried to hurt I heard a, I heard something scrape. Looks like Jekyll. I can't read that. Dotor. Dotor Jekyll. So it's translated. No, an English poster. I think. Candidate. Would you call yourself a religious person? You should be, for everything you have been taught is a lie. A master plan to confuse the masses in false thought. I should know. I was part of this plan of deceit. Have you ever wondered why the most powerful warship, a satanic god called Moloch? Have you ever wondered this thing that is not confirmed? <laughs> No, I thought I was gonna be like, have you ever wondered why, like, you can only see so far on the horizon, or like, just any, anything vaguely normally perceived? But he's just like, yeah. Have you ever wondered this thing that I'm saying that you've heard for the hearing for the first time? Basically, a giant owl situated in the middle of the forest, middle of forest. What a co coincidence. Okay, is it? It is then that a large number of people happen to go missing in those same woods. However, there are never any co-incidences. I guess proofreading wasn't part of early access. Maybe you think all religion is fake, and you are a person of science, a new religion masked with more falsities. That's not... Oh no, you're one of those people. <laughs> uh, the villain sucks. He's one of those people that's like, science is also a religion, and I'm like, no, that's not... That's not actually true. <laughs> like, it's not... Like, people think they're being clever when they say that, but it, it doesn't actually make any sense on any level. It doesn't work. Mainly because you don't... Know, people don't believe in science the way people believe in religion. It has a completely different meaning on every level. It's not... Uh, science doesn't really have, like, a, like a dogma. <laughs> and... A unified truth everyone agrees upon. In fact, not agreeing on truths is kind of the point. Have you ever tried to discuss with someone something already deemed as fact? Like how the stars are actually gods, or how Earth you walk on is not round. Oh, wow, I was joking, but they actually did go to the flat Earth territory like I did suggested a moment ago. Wow, alright, well they, they found their way to it eventually. Well, most won't both engage you in conversation and will simply dismiss you without thought. So much for objective, rational discussion. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This or the organization in, in these games is even worse than I thought. Let's listen to this bullshit. Oh no, they're flat earthers. <laughs> they're flat earthers that believe in an owl god in the forest. Great. I mean, I shouldn't be that surprised at this point. But yeah, if you ever wonder, like, the the idea that people believing in science is itself, like, a religion of its own is basically a side effect of religious people trying to look at stuff that's not religious, but only being able to see it through the, the you know, like, through the, the lens of religion. So anything that is a competitive, anything that feels like it's a competitor, to their, their dogma is itself a religion, because that's the only thing it can be. But it doesn't actually work that way. It's just you're, just, you're just in too deep at that point to look at it differently. Uh, science was meant to question everything, no matter what, at all times. Yeah, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll be here all day. 
No more. A great many subjects are now deemed non-discussable just because they are said to be fact. Just like religion, science is merely an adopted belief of what you believe to be real. Fools. A.R. Yeah, but the a basic part of science is that anyone- First of all, people dispute the ideas every day and constantly come up with new explanations for everything all the time. That's the basis. But also, because you document your system and everything, people can recreate your experiments to verify them. But that's also the point. <laughs> so, like, a lot of the stuff that's verified as fact is often because of the fact that it's been so, so thoroughly tested by so many different people that and without like various variants and whatnot that people are like well i guess it just is true because you know they they handy. kept testing it a variety of people from different races and creeds and countries and backgrounds all tested the thing and kept getting the same result and that's when you start thinking i guess that i guess that's just a fact it's almost like the people that criticize these kinds of systems mostly do it out of ignorance and they refuse to engage with the system or learn how it works and then are like, what? What do you mean I don't understand? What do you mean it's not exactly the same? Yeah, if you straw man science, you can make it sound really silly if you just refuse to learn how it works. <laughs> Candidate, please allow me to honor the the honor of reciting one of many favorite poems. It goes as follows. Oops. It's, it sounds... I can't help it. It just... It, it's, it sounds like a... It sounds like a... Uh, like a Papa Roach song, almost. Obsession, aggression, and sickness and feeling. I'll turn in my stomach, these emotions, these feelings. You rhymed feeling with feeling, how dare you. Only one, it must be a Papa Roach song. <laughs> Only one person can stop this dismay. So please, will you listen to what I now say? Obsession, aggression, and, sick, and a sickness and feeling. They play on my mind, these emotions, these feelings. You rhymed feeling with feeling twice. You rhymed, you rhymed feeling with feeling twice, but also you added A to the sentence the second time, so the number of syllables isn't even matching. So like, you just randomly misrepeated the same okay. Oh, the writing, okay. There must be a way. I need to think. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Uh... Got ear, head, eyes, feet. I wonder if, the, if there's like a place I can find numbers related to that somewhere. First thing I want to try though is this. 4623. 46, no. Nope. Worth a shot. You would imagine if they're gonna give me access to the other location that the puzzles from that might be relevant in some way. Maybe they still will be. Weird heart symbol. So we keep getting more of those. At least two so far. I may have missed one. This one contains nails. We all wear a mask. Oh, it's a pressure plate. I was wondering why the manhole color cover kept making a sound when I stepped on it. Huh. What do I think is changing when I step on that? Yes? Is that... Ah. Ah. Now I have a valve. I'm sure I can do something with this. I do think I can do something with that. Whoa. Wait, how'd you get circular? Those are curving bricks. That's that's work. Good job. That's some hardcore masonry right there. I thought you were against the masons. <laughs> I'm probably supposed to put something here and rotate it, then it comes back as something else. I thought we were supposed to be trying to stop stop evil organizations that uh that control the, the world and everything. But here you are working with the Masons. That's the best joke of this entire playthrough. Enjoy. That's 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 all downhill from here. Is that intentional? If it is, I can't 
It's probably not. Yeah. Because I can't read it from here. I can't really make out anything in the mirror. Gold on the right of white. Are gold and white variations of over here? Yes. Nope. So white with gold on its right, then no. Nope, there must be some other input. <clears throat> I figured, oh, well, if green's first, then it's gold on the right of white, then I could just spin this one, basically, and it'll give me the solution. Like in Dishonored. All I have right now is a wrench. They've been letting me keep it, so it must be useful in more than one place. I imagine this might be somehow that. It's four things. 